All right, have and have not fans. Now, this is an interesting question that I want to uh, bring to your attention, which I'm pretty sure that a lot of fans have already discussed already. Now, when it comes to the haves and the have-nots in the recent, I don't even want to say recent season, but let me just say the first 10 episodes that we've gotten in 2018, it seems apparent that the Benny-Melissa dynamic is one of the most talked about things in the season so far. And I just wanted to ask you the question, do you think Melissa wants Benny all to herself and why? I feel like there are several elements as to why Melissa has an interest in Benny. Uh, number one, she even told Benny where I believe that's when, uh, wh wh what was it? Benny was escorted upstairs by Melissa to find uh, Veronica's thing. She wanted the dress and the shoes to bring back to the hospital. So when she gets discharged, she can actually have a change of clothes. So she made Benny the errand boy in the episode called Errand Boy, uh, where he went to actually go get the clothing for Veronica, go back to the hospital, and that would have been that. However, as Benny is looking through the closet, Melissa removes her robes and seductively sits back on the bed, just talking about, you know, Oh, wow. Well, it's good to know that men still find me attractive because after dealing with a, hom a homosexual as my fiance, just look it down on me like he was disgusted. I felt, you know, less confident in myself like I didn't have it anymore, you know, like her womenly wiles. So to have a heterosexual man actually find her attractive as, uh, in Benny as well as Mitch, uh, you know, it feels like, you know, I, I guess the best way to put it is. Benny was like the first man to make her feel like a woman in quite some time. So you can almost see why <laughs> you can almost see why uh, Melissa has this thing for Benny. But also keep in mind that she was throwing herself at Mitch. And aside from David, when he came through the door, you we, we can almost assume that any young man that would have came to Veronica's house might have gotten a little something, something from Melissa herself. But uh, then we saw, you know, somewhat of a, I, I don't want to say jealousy just yet, but it seems like, you know, a bit of disdain that, you know, she heard the kiss that Veronica gave Benny. He's like, don't you just want to throw up? And then, of course, when she walked in on uh, Benny and Veronica having sex, when uh, David came along as well, because she broke in the, what well, she picked the lot. And she was like, I can't believe you did that. That's disgusting. So <laughs> I guess you could say that for one reason that it seems like Melissa's into Benny is because he made her feel like a woman again. Another thing to point out is the fact that given the fact that she knows there's something going on between um, Veronica and Benny and the fact that Melissa doesn't even like Veronica to begin with. It might seem, I guess you could say, clear that the only reason she might be somewhat into Benny is to kind of jab at Veronica in terms of, you know what, I want to take everything you have. Like, you know, oh, you, you think you're into Benny? You think he likes you? Well, let me go ahead and um, <laughs> go ahead and take one more thing. I mean, she almost took, wait, I almost took your life, woman, when it came to that um when it came to the uh, car accident, you know, I was ready to kill the both of us, but let me go ahead and take your young man too. So I feel like in some ways, Melissa is almost competing <laughs> with Veronica for uh, Benny's attention. And this was seen when um, Veronica came home from the hospital. She's sitting on the couch with Melissa. And I think this is right around the time where Mitch ran up the stairs saying, yo, Mrs. Harrington is here right now. And this is when Benny and uh, Melissa are right in the middle of sex. So they both get dressed. Benny comes down first. Then Melissa comes down in her robe. Veronica, you know, gets on her about the whole, put on some clothes. Those are for Jeffrey. Oh, he's gay. He doesn't like this stuff. So then it's almost like, you know, Melissa said something. Oh yeah. Yeah. She was flirting with Benny. And then, Veronica was like, he doesn't want you. And, oh, you're quite protective of him, huh? So she kind of caught on to the fact that there was something going on between the two. So I guess you could say in some way, shape, or form, it seems, it kind of seems clear that um, Melissa might be with Benny just to get back at Veronica. Kind of think of it this way. Think of it this way. Originally, it seemed that Veronica only got involved with Benny to spite David. Because, you know, the whole, you're sleeping with Maggie Day and you put me through all this hell and all this stuff. So, Benny is like the first 
man to actually make her feel good again because I think that's when uh, Veronica got him out of jail. And uh, while they were in the vehicle because she had been drinking, so he was driving home. They, uh, I think it was right when they, yeah, they pulled over. And um, Benny was like, oh, I'm sorry to hear that your husband's cheating on you. He's like, really? He's like, yeah, I mean it. I'm, I'm sorry. And that's when Veronica kissed him for the first time and then they started getting it on. So Benny was kind of like the first male figure in her life to show her kindness, it seemed, and genuine concern. So I guess that's what's attracted Veronica to him in the first place. But at the beginning, it seemed like it was really about, you know, having sex with him to just toy around with David. Then we move forward to where we are now with Veronica and Benny. And it seems like she legitimately does have an attraction to him. All right. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, God, sorry. Talking too much at once. Okay. Now it goes back to what I said earlier about Benny and Melissa. You had Jeffrey who was, well, mistreating Melissa. Not just, It wasn't just him because... Jeffrey was in a pretty messed up situation because of Melissa to begin with. But think about her mom treating her like trash, Veronica treating her like trash, and then the man that she's being forced into marrying not only is gay, but treats her like trash as well. Benny comes along and is the first, again, male figure in her life to make her feel like a woman. So Benny, in a way, you know, he's just like a lightning rod for these kind of women. Now, I don't know what it is, but... It seems like Benny is definitely starting up things unintentional, unintentionally, like just saying that Melissa was attractive, boom, ended up in bed. Saying that he felt sorry for Veronica due to her marital situation, boom, they started banging in uh, David's truck. So I guess you could say that based off what we're seeing in the next episode, well, excuse me, future episodes of uh, Veronica walks in on Melissa and Benny having sex and they're, you know, Veronica's fighting her off. We need to see how Veronica is going to react to this. You know, if she's going to be through with Benny, because just like David, you know, you're with another woman. So we need, I need to see how she reacts before I really go in depth on, you know, my what ifs on that. But I feel like in some ways, Melissa is into Benny because of Benny, but in some ways I could see why she might be into Benny for different reasons. Maybe to, again, steal something away from Veronica, just like she stole her freedom. Um, or just because Benny is, well, good in this sack. I really don't know what else to say to that, but I just wanted to get your thoughts on this. Why do you think Melissa seems, you know, to be attracted to Benny. Is it due to her trying to steal him from Veronica? Is it due to him being like, well, the first man that's actually been nice to her? And hey, let me know in the comments below. Do you think Melissa wants Benny all to herself?